So um, what I would like to speak about is um, um, understanding um, in, in science and in artificial intelligence. Um, and uh, okay, so let's let's start. Let, let, what what is what is the plan? Uh, we 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 uh, want want to go through. Um, so um, first, I would like to go through some uh, notions, some challenges of understanding. Uh, then let us start to define precisely what we are speaking about. So, what is understanding? This is the next next question we want to un we want to uh, uh, answer. Um, then how this works in artificial intelligence and how it works in science. Um, and uh, then comes uh, the notion of relevant coordinates. Uh, and if I will have time, probably not, uh, may I, 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 I may speak some words about the, the learning process and then some conclusions. Okay, so let's start with the introduction of what, what are the challenges with understanding. So, um, um, I uh, um, chosen uh, a motto uh, from he uh, Frank Herbert, uh, the writer of Dune. Um, uh, you can re read it here. Deep in the human unconscious is a perversive need for a logical universe that makes sense, but the real universe is always one step beyond logic. And I would like to go something somehow uh, at, at the background of this feeling that which which is actually uh, well probably uh, uh, concerns all of us. So the, main, the first point I would like to, to uh, pin down that is that the technical evolution, new, new tools, new developments uh, uh, makes necessary to rethink old concepts. And understanding is one of these old concepts. Uh, actually, understanding is, is a long debated uh, 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 phenomenon. Uh, so a, a, a branch of philosophy, the epistemology deals with uh, with understanding the, the aspects of understanding. And nowadays two uh, topics which are which challenge the in this notion. The first one is the artificial intelligence. Uh, I will go to the, in the detail later. And the other one is the scientific understanding, meaning that today the scientific models or scientific and technical models are so complicated that uh, pr probably nobody in the earth uh, can understand it fully. For example, if you think about a, a structure of a CPU, um, so the, the question of so how that but what does in that in that case uh, uh, mean uh, understanding is a is a is a delicate question. So let's let's go uh, let's let's start. The first slide is about uh, why artificial intelligence is necessary. I don't think I have to go too much into details. Everybody knows that there is a big amount of data produced daily and even more are stored and we need organizing principles. And moreover, these data are very valuable. valuable. So um, uh, the economist says that it is the most valuable resource of, uh, uh, in the earth, it's more, more uh, valuable than oil today. And uh, so th this organizing principle if there is a known process in the background, uh, then we can use science. We can use statistics. We can use the models, calibrating models, and and then understand what what is going on. But in in a lot of cases, there are no uh, known processes uh, in the in behind. And then we have to uh, um, use some some computer methods, including artificial intelligence. So that's why artificial intelligence is unavoidable today. Artificial intelligence has a lot of uh, successes and a number of challenges. Uh, the successes are, are always the, uh, the, in the headline of, of all the papers. Um, we know that table and computer games are uh, in high level played by uh, um, artificial intelligence. Uh, we know images like in the, in the left hand side, which is uh, a pure uh, a creation. This person doesn't exist. For example, in the left-hand side, um, uh, well, this is a image generation, image recognition as well. Uh, uh, natural language pro processing translation is also a very uh, uh, in a very good shape now. Uh, and self-driving cars 
uh, albeit it's a little bit step back from the earlier expectations, but still it, it, is, it is developing in a, in a, in a uh, fast steps. But uh, nevertheless, there are some challenges in, uh, we are facing. Um, first of all, then the, the most, most severe of these challenges is the, they're, they're showing up unexpected errors uh, in, in the AI processes. Uh, like in the right hand side, you see this, uh, these two images, which are all, almost uh, uh, the same, the sim uh, the identical for all eyes, but uh, an, an image classificator may uh, classify the first as a school bus and the second, for example, an oyster or something like that. And here is the this uh, stop sign, which is we, we recognize without problem, but with the sticks uh, on on the uh, on on the stick on on the on the table uh, tablet, it's um, it seems for a classifier and and and, and, and some something different. Um, so th these are very um, uh, prone to adversarial attacks. And also long range correlation is missing, but I don't want to go into detail. So I, I, the, the main problem is um, um, yeah, are, are, are these which, which are made challenges uh, which, which uh, artificial intelligence is facing. And something somehow one feels that, that whether or questions that whether AI does understand what it does or just it's a pure coincidence that, that it's sometimes, uh, or in most cases, it guesses the, the, the right result uh, uh, correctly. Um, so this is the artificial intelligence part and that is the, the scientific part which, which challenges understanding. And let's, uh, for that, uh, let's go a little bit uh, into details, uh, but very uh, shortly. Uh, so we we know that uh, so we, we are speaking about scientific approaches, um, and we know that until the mid 20th century, uh, science worked. That scientists sat down and uh, worked out the theory uh, by thinking, by by observing the world, and they used paper and pencil to to solve this uh, um, um, to to solve this this uh, this this. Um, uh, 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 equations, but in this way, only the linear systems were solvable, or the systems which could be uh, transformed to linear. And uh, if there are there were non-linearity non in the system, then one had to use perturbation theory. It uh, this whole star, a whole um, method of uh, of um, solving the system, uh, proposed a coherent worldview that a generic problem is solvable at all scales, uh, we only need the, the, the tools. Uh, actually, if we know the spectrum of the, of, the, of, the, of the model, then we know everything. So it's a very coherent uh, word view was suggested by this, uh, by this uh, uh, method. But from the, since, uh, from, uh, since the mid 20th century, a new paradigm uh, shown up, this is the computers. And from, from then, uh, on, uh, we use the theory, uh, which is uh, set by the settled by the by the sciences, uh, as as given. But the the solution was uh, trans trusted to computers. So, <clears throat> uh, and this made possible that nonlinear system uh, uh, to solve nonlinear system as well. Um, and uh, we have revealed a lot of fan new phenomena in this way. For example, chaos, chaotic systems, new phase transitions, and, and so on and so forth. So it was very, very useful and very uh, uh, powerful method. But the problem was uh, behind, so the, the, the same method which provided us a new uh, solution method uh, made understanding a, a question mark. Uh, in a, in a uh, so this this whole phenomenon um, um, questioned the the main problem that we see the numbers, but we see the numbers also from experiments, and we suddenly we 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 realize that in vain we know the, the theory, we still don't doesn't know why this actual number came out. So this is a, a, a feeling of a lot of physicists uh, uh, nowadays or in the, uh, since the mid 20th century is that somehow understanding was, was forgotten, forgotten uh, in, in, this, in this whole process. 
And another interesting thing uh, happened also that if we have a multi-parameter model, like uh, I used an example of even generators, but uh, other models are, are good examples uh, for, the, for this as well, then suddenly we, we didn't understand the meaning of each parameters in this multi-parameter model because they have no meaning. So if we calibrated the model in a different way, it worked as well, as good as in the, in the original case. So uh, while in the, in the, for example, in the mechanics, we, we can identify that this term relevant for kinetic energy, this term relevant for potential energy and so on, in a multi-parameter model, this clear separation, this clear understanding has, uh, was, was uh, missed. And uh, in the 20, 21st century, uh, the, again, a new paradigm, the AI uh, came along and um, uh, this stirred even more the, 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 the uh, notion of understanding. The, the problem is that uh, nowadays more and more the, 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 the strategy is that we even don't want to or, or can, can't write down the, the theory ourselves. We trust the computers to, to, to write down the theory and we don't know the, the solutions as well. So we just provide the data for, for the computer and it, it does anything, it, it, it does the magic uh, and, um, and, and something go, come, comes out. So the question is that what is, understa what is understanding uh, 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 from this system? So I think that clarifying, uh, clarifying the meaning of understanding is, is very urgent now, especially in the light of the, of, the, of the unexpected errors of the artificial intelligence. So let's uh, go to, uh, into, the, uh, into details. I don't want to go very deep. Um, what is understanding? Um, First of all, what can be understood? We, 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 we can understand a lot of things like a formula, a book, a joke, image, and so on. Um, the first question probably which, which, is, which, we, which we have to pose is that is it uniquely defined or not? For example, if you consider the image in the, on the right hand side, I think I can, yeah, I can move it down. Probably I can make it vanish, but it is better now. Uh, so you consider this image in the right hand side, then we can describe it in the different ways. We can say that it contains colored, colored pixels, and it's okay, it's, it's true, and, and it's a perfect description of this picture. We can say that, well, this is a, this is a painting after all, so it, uh, it contains paint brushes and painting techniques, and this is again, uh, if we, uh, this is a picture, uh, uh, work of Renoir, so if somebody um, tra tra dragged uh, the the movements of the of the of the paints paint brushes of Renoir, then uh, uh, he or she can reproduce this image correctly, uh, uh, almost correctly. Um, but we can also describe it with human notions, like this uh, picture depicts a woman with a tabby cat in a room, and so on and so forth. Um, or we can just say that this is Renoir woman and a cat, and then we can reproduce the the same image uh, uh, correctly. So the, 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 the message is that we can use, and these are all legitimate understanding of the same image. Nothing is better than the other for a computer scientist uh, or a, a, who, who deals with storing the, the, um, the image, colored pixels are the most important ones. As an observer, a human observer, these uh, this, uh, human notions are the most important, but the main, pro main uh, message is that these are equally well, uh, uh, this described the image equally well. Now the problem, when, when, so uh, these are all legitimate understanding of the same image. When comes the difference? Uh, difference comes when we have a lot of images, a collection or a set of images, then the the uh, the different approaches makes uh, make a difference uh, in this case. So then we can try to loosely define the, uh, the understanding. So as we have settled down for a single image, any descriptions are equally good. But for a collection of images, we should uh, reveal what is common in all of the uh, images, and these common features uh, provide us the under the notion of understanding. If you know what is common in the, in, the, in the pictures, then it is easy to, to say 
that uh, to tell that an image is an element of our collection. For example, uh, if we collect uh, cat images, then a dog image is clearly not an, not an element of, of our collection. And also we can remember any image in our collection because we just make uh, assign a number to, to each images in our collection. And this, this number is much, much less than the number of all of the images and so on. So uh, somehow we have to approach this, this notion that we should reveal what is common in them in, in, in mathematical language. And, and actually, this is what, what a, a, a classifier or an artificial intelligence does, although we may not uh, be aware of that. So, um, um, OK. Uh, so our goal is to make this loose definition mathematically precise. Uh, let's um, let's good, uh, make some mathematics not, not, I don't want to go into the deep, uh, um, details uh, uh, too deeply, but, but um, some thoughts, how it can be approached in, um, in a mathematical way. So um, let's speak about the, this image uh, again. Um, um, this this uh, approaches which we, I, I've listed uh, two um, uh, transparencies ago, uh, these are all somehow describe the same image. And if you do it well, the same image with the same accuracy. So that means that all descriptions are can be refined to give the same details, all of these which, which are listed here, oral equivalent uh, representation of the individual images. And this means that there are uh, somehow all coordinatization of the same image. So the main point here is that we have an image and we, cho we can choose different coordinatizations, which, which uh, uh, for example, in this case, which uh, chooses n pixel and uh, um, for each pixel and c colors. If you consider the finite set, x is a finite set, then uh, the number of all possible images is is, is this this one, and but this is a uh, so this this is the number of images, but we can cho choose other coordinates uh, coordinate system to describe the same image. Uh, okay, so this is this will be our coordinatization, which which uh, assigns to x to uh, some coordinates and coordinates, and we mostly use the binary base. So i is zero or one, and xi i x are the coordinates. And, okay. Um, now um, the next point is that we have to reveal the common features in in the in the collection in the set. For that, we use statistics, um, or probability theory. This this is the same probability theory what uh, that everyone knows. So this is uh, um, the same notions, just to go through for, for, for uh, uh, to, to speak in the, the, the same language. So if uh, we have, um, we, we speak about the joint distribution of some coordinates over the C, this is a conditional probability actually, um, uh, in this way. So we count all of the, so we, we go through the, the given set and we, we count the cases when the uh, coordinates of this image are the same, uh, the given coordinates of this image are the same, uh, which are fixed in the left-hand side. And we, we divided one over C, so this is a probability. Then we can speak about expected value. Um, for example, a, a coordinate function expected value is, 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 is given here. This is the same expected value which is, which is used uh, in, in the probability theory. It is expected value over the C, so as an, again a conditional expected uh, value. Um, a, a very important notion is that if when uh, we speak about independent coordinates, and this is the the statement is that independent coordinates are the ones which are factor which which are factorized in the uh, joint distribution. So if we this this, this seg, the ith ith uh, um, coordinate. Uh, coordinates uh, distribution is is a product uh, for, um, shows up as a product in the in the joint distribution. Um, if it if it is true, then all uh, correlation functions factorize as well. And in a binary case, if coordinates uh, if coordinate function factorize, then the probability factorizes too. So then is a one to one correspondence. In a more complicated cases, it, it is not true. But if you speak about the, only the binary case, then these these two two uh, two uh, statements are equivalent. 
Now we can speak about two um, special cases. Uh, one simplest, uh, one simple uh, thing when, when a coordinate is deterministic. So if we, in vain we go through any element of, of C, so this subset or collection, uh, maybe that some uh, coordinate is constant. For example, if you choose only uh, black and white uh, colors, then uh, the, the um, um, okay, the, 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 the statement that the, 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 the image contains black and white colors, then it is a constantly true in the, in the whole set. So the, these coordinates are deterministic. And the, on the other uh, extreme, the uh, a coordinate uh, can have a uniform distribution if in this set, in the C set, all of the values are, 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 are taken uh, uniformly. So all, all of the coordinates are, are uh, appear at least one, uh, appeared in the same times. Okay, so these are the, the usual notions uh, about uh, probability theory, and we let, let's now use it for the, um, um, for characterizing the image. At first, maybe uh, we, we may go through some, some examples. For example, um, if uh, our collection contains only a single, um, single element, then all coordinates are deterministic. If the if our set is a is contains the complete set, then all coordinates are independent and uniformly distributed because all all values are are uh, are occur in the same times. And this is a little more complicated example for uh, for th uh, three bits. And in this case, uh, what we see is that uh, the for example the the distribution of the first coordinate. What is the distribution of the first coordinate? Here is zero zero one. One that means that two times zero, two times one, so it's a uniform distribution over zero and one, and it is true for all of the three bits. You can check that it is true for all the two-point correlations as well, but uh, funnily enough, the three-point co three-bit correlation is not uh, uniform. Just to to see that, we check that the the three-point uh, expected value. Uh, the, uh, is how it is calculated. So sigma one, sigma two, sigma three is zero here, zero, zero times one is zero. This is zero, this is zero, and this is one. So that means that the expected value is one fourth, which is not equal to the uh, expected value of sigma one, sigma two, sigma three, because each of one is one half. So it is altogether one eighth. That means that this uh, example uh, as it clearly show, shows that in a subset, new uh, correlations show up. And these correlations, which makes it difficult to understand this image. Uh, but if we reveal these correlations, then we just, uh, we are in the position that we have revealed the common features of this subset. So we understood this subset. So what we can understood, again, it, it is seen here, uh, is the, uh, is the, um, uh, um, is a subset. Um, and then uh, there is a, um, so we, we, we can have these uh, common features. Okay. So then we can uh, define what is understanding. I mainly concentrate on the, on the understanding a subset. Also, it can, uh, we can understand also a disjunct, disjunct, uh, disjunct uh, uh, subsets uh, all together. But the, the main point is that, so we can define that we understand the subset. If we can give a coordinatization, which I will call complete model, that all coordinates are independent and either deterministic or uniformly distributed. If it is true that all are independent, then we can easily generate a picture, an image from this collection, as we, we will see later. So this is really the, uh, the mathematical definition of understanding. Um, actually, the same can be told uh, for a, a disjunct, disjunct subsets, the collection, uh, collection of disjunct subsets or set of disjunct subsets. Um, then we can speak about a common complete model that all the coordinates are independent for all the elements, all C, A, and also for the union set as well. And uh, they are either deterministic or uniformly distributed for all of the, all of the subsets. Uh, okay, let's uh, have a, uh, this is the proof of existence. I don't want to go into details too much. Uh, the, the main point is that 
uh, one can prove that it exists. The, uh, this the always exists this this, uh, this uh, uh, construction. I mean this this coordinate system. So this in this case, understanding is always exist for all all sets. The 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 essence of the proof is that these are uh, for this is for the the previous uh, example. These were our chosen subset 0010100111, and we recoordinateize. So apply a bijection here in a way, which is in this case it's a, a permutation that we. All, uh, we uh, sort all of the elements of the of our chosen subset to the front, and in the in this case, the new coordinates of this uh, of these elements of our chosen C subset is zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one. That means for all cases, the first bit is zero, and that means that the first bit in this new uh, in this new coordinate system coordinate system is. Uh, a deterministic thing, and the second and the fourth are uh, uniformly distributed and oral independent. So this is the essence of the proof. I don't want to go into details. Uh, just I show an, uh, an ex another example here um, for uh, three uh, disjunct subsets. Uh, how can we understand them uh, together? Uh, See here is C1, C2, and C3, and these are randomly chosen elements of the of the of all of the four bits uh, um, samples. And what we do is the same trick as again uh, as as before, that uh, we sort the elements of C1 to the first, then comes C2, then comes C3, and this is a numbered so the, an index set. So these are the index. Of the uh, of these of these elements is one two three four five six seven, and so on and so forth, and the the the, the new coordinate system so the bijection <clears throat> renders to this element zero 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 one to this element uh, zero 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 one and so on, and that what we see that uh, for the fir fir first four elements, the first two coordinates are zero zero, so these are uh, deterministic, I will call these deterministic bits as relevant, relevant bits. And the last uh, two coordinates are uniformly distributed and independent. And this I will call the irrelevant bits. So as you see, this is a very simple uh, process uh, in case of four bits. In case of one million bits, it's a little bit more uh, complicated and one cannot um, uh, do it in just a simple way. Uh, this is how why we need a computer to, to, to accomplish this task for us. Okay, how does it have understanding? Um, for classification, for example, uh, we have to uh, consider only the relevant bits. For example, if we want to ask, well, I come back. If we want to ask that 0, 1, 0, 1, is element uh, is whether it is element of C one or not? Then we have to see that zero one zero one. Uh, what is the coordinate of the zero one zero one? It is zero zero one zero one, and we have to choose uh, to consider only the relevant bits. So the first two bits, it is zero zero, and then go through, and we see that zero zero corresponds to C one. That means that just to if we know this this uh, uh, coordinateization. We have to pick only the relevant bits and this unif uh, uniquely identify that subset that this belongs to or uh, defines that it, it doesn't belong any any of the of our chosen subsets. And we can also uh, solve the, the decoding or, uh, or lossless data compression. This last thing is very interesting. So for example, let's uh, imagine that um, we have uh, an, an, uh, an element of some of the subsets that we know that that means that we know that the this element uh, uh, is uh, um, belongs to, to a given set subset then how can we re re uh, recognize how now how can we uh, um, compress the the information that uh, contains in this in this image um, if we know so this is a this is a, a, a prior knowledge so to say the prior knowledge in this new coordinate system it means that we know that all the relevant bits are, are deterministic, so it is it is not necessary to, to store the uh, relevant bits, 
because the relevant bits are the prior knowledge. We have to we have to store only that one that part which is which is which is not uh, not unique in this subset, and these are the irrelevant bits. That means that for lossless data compression, we need to store for lo it is a lossless for data compression. We need to store the irrelevant bits. For example, in the first uh, previous case, to to uh, compress this uh, element, we have to remember only one zero because the first two bits, if we know that it is element of C1, uh, is fixed by 0, 0. Okay, we can also do a continuous ap ap approximation from the bits, we can uh, provide numbers with, uh, with the same significant binary figures. That means that, uh, and then uh, uh, the, in, in this case, the distribution of, the, of our coordinates are either a, a, a fixed one, so deterministic, or a flat distribution, just like before in the in the binary case. Okay, uh, how much time do I have? Time? Well, I don't know exactly how. Okay, anyhow, um, let's uh, go a little bit um, uh, in the into the question of the how this applies to science. I uh, I don't want to again want to uh, describe too much details, only. Uh, just at, uh, consider an example. Uh, so in science, the uh, how how the, how we generate subsets, which is to be understood in science, and usually we take a measurement. Uh, for example, here the measurement is that in this system that we have a, a slope, uh, let a, 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 a ball roll down in the slope, and then it. Uh, collides with another ball, which finally uh, falls out, out uh, of the table. And we measure the, the time uh, difference between the collision and the fall off. So let, let's add that, but any, any other, other experiment is, is a, a, as good as, as this one. Now, we uh, observe uh, different states and different processes in the world, and we uh, assign it assign them uh, to different subclasses depending on the measured value or me uh, measured delta t value. So these singles out subsets. And these will be the subsets which are to be understand in science. For example, if we change the height of, the, of this roll down, then it will change the delta t. If we change the person who makes this experiment, this does, will not change the delta t. So uh, we can observe. So if we set settle down the uh, the subsets and uh, made uh, found the the common uh, model for them, common complete model for them, then then can be different type of coordinates. One are one coordinates are the overall relevant coordinates. Uh, this uh, doesn't tell anything more that uh, we have. Th these are the experimental setup. This won't, won't change in, in all of the experiments at all. That, th these are not in important. Uh, there are overall irrelevant coordinates. For example, what is the color of the ball? Who makes this experiment? Uh, these again do not influence the results. So it, 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 we, we can forget about them. These, these are also not, not important. And that means that only those quantities which will change the delta t and will change in any of the experiments will be import important for us. And the very interesting in the in scientific models that only a few numbers of these uh, of these uh, relevant or partially relevant coordinates are are uh, exist. Um, in this case, uh, delta t, we know the, the, the yes, yeah, so, so we, we can solve it in physics, of course, it's this problem. And we know that delta t is influenced by only this, this s, the dif distance from the, from the uh, end of the table, the height of the roll down and, uh, and uh, the gravitational constant and the, the two masses. These are only the, the, the coordinates which, which influence anyhow this, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, process. And these in, indeed, these are, at one hand, the partial relevant coordinates, the quantities uh, uh, for the common complete model. And on the other hand, this yield the usual concept of mechanics. So this is how understanding 
uh, happens in, in science. Okay. Um, this is uh, um, the same thing. I, I, I let, let me skip this one. And um, 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 maybe this, this, uh, discuss this one. So um, how can we observe a natural law? It can happen that we use an overcomplete basis. For example, we can uh, we observe that the value of the acceleration, the value of the mass, and the value of the applied force all are relevant coordinates uh, in the sense of the of the previous uh, uh, study. But if we do any enough experiments, we we can observe as well that these three quantities are not independent from each other. So they have, they have an overcomplete basis. And this is the way how natural laws uh, can be discovered. For example, in this case, the Newton's law. Okay, so the, the message is the most important step is the distillation of the relevant or the partially relevant coordinates. And once we have found them, uh, their relation can be studied and we have understood them, the, the problem. Okay, this is not so important. Let me let me skip and let me speak about about the, the the number of relevant coordinates. So, what is the difference between Newton equations and the cat images? Both, as we have seen, um, um, singles out some subset which which is to be understood. So, what is uh, so the the, the 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 notion of understanding is the same in the two. Then, how how it comes that mechanics has a uh, has equations? And we, we, we can compute mechanics and, and we understand it fully, but while the cat images we cannot do cannot assign a kind of a Newton equations for them, for, for the images. Why is this difference? And the diff the, the core uh, question is the number of relevant coordinates. Okay. Um, and for that, let me consider two images. Uh, one is the uh, easing configurations uh, from, from, from a model where, where this, this is a binary model. And, and um, um, it is, a, it is a, if you don't know it, then it is a scientific model. And uh, where in some way, we generate this, this, uh, these uh, configurations and we, we, we do some, some measurements in it. So uh, the, the main point is that just like in the, in the mechanical, mechanics case, there are a few number of relevant quantities, in this case, just three relevant quantities. But let us consider an, an image, in this case, this black square on white background. It is, as we, we can compare the two, and we see that it is a very, very, uh, uh, very ordered image as, uh, as compared to the, the previous one. And in the, indeed, um, we can argue that, uh, so we can describe this image only given by the coordinates of the left, uh, Top left uh, uh, corner and the edge size of the of this of the square. And as uh, if we know these three coordinates, then all pixels of this image can be reconstructed. As, op as opposed in the previous case, when we know these three numbers, uh, just a set can be. Uh, 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 this defines just the set where we picked up this image by random. That means that these three quantities are enough to compress, lossless compress uh, this uh, black squared and white background image. That means that these are irrelevant quantities. So the main message is that in a scientific model, there are a few relevant quantities and a lot of irrelevant ones. In the image recognition, there are a few irrelevant quantities and a large number of relevant ones. At least in the in the in this uh, um, uh, very 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 ordered image. So in the two between the two, there is a whole spectrum, starting from the Ising model, so the scientific models, to the geometric images. The number of relevant coordinates uh, decrease and the number of irrelevant increase. Uh, no, in the, in the in the reverse way. So the, these are the, the there is a lot, not, lot of irrelevant coordinates and there's few relevant ones and in this in this vice versa. And this uh, and this is why science and artificial intelligence uh, are different, because in science we are at, at this uh, 
part of the, of, the, of the image and we have few relevant quantities which are all identifiable and we have exact close and exact relations and this is the realm of science. While on the other extreme we have a lot of relevant quantities which are uh, and, the, the, uh, and since the, the, these are a lot of quantities that are unidentifiable, then in a lot of cases they play similar role and there is no exact description. And this is the realm of artificial intelligence. And in between, it is a good question what, what to, to use. So it's, 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 I, I think there is a mixture of the two which, which has to be used in chemistry, biology, and also in nuclear physics and so on. Okay. Uh, this is the same which, which, um, um, uh, which, which I, I, I told you, and um, um, okay, um, may, maybe I, I uh, okay. I, I think I, I, my time is 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 over. I don't know how much time do I have. We had a little bit of delay, but basically you are over. Oh, I, I didn't understand it. So uh, yeah, basically you are over, but uh, of course you can. Okay, so I go to, to the point. Okay, I go to conclusions. Uh, I I hope that the main uh, message is can be uh, could be transferred. Uh, so uh, my conclusions is that uh, understanding is nothing else than finding the relevant irrelevant coordinates. It is of course a very very hard task, then, but this is what exactly. Uh, um, a human thinking and also um, artificial intelligence does. Um, they must be independent and either deterministic or uniform. And um, if we know this system, then we have revealed the common features of a, of a set or a, a set of sets. Uh, and then all uh, artificial intelligence tasks can be easily performed. Um, and what we have learned also that the number of relevant coordinates can vary uh, 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 vastly, that uh, uh, in scientific uh, mo models, there are a few number of relevant coordinates in the, and, and in, in geometric images, uh, a very, very large number of relevant coordinates are present. And that's why image recognition and, uh, and scientific approach uh, are, are somehow the two, two extremes of the, of the same uh, complete world of understanding. And uh, as I've proposed, a mixed strategy uh, is would be the best in, in to approach the intermediate st systems. So thank you very much for the attention. Uh, I'm asking if there's any question from uh, outside. I'm checking the chat. Hi. Yes. Hi. Yeah, please. Hi. Uh, thank you for the nice talk. Uh, I would have a more general question uh, coming from the direction of uh, neural science. Uh, there is a theorem that uh, if the systems are near to criticality, the information processing is becoming optimal. So my question is, uh, do you know if this uh, principle is used in artificial intelligence systems or especially when you spoke about the disadvantages of uh, unknown long-range correlations so exploring such unknown correlations or or basic coordinates this uh, criticality approach might be helpful mm -hmm. question yeah i think that as, as i've told you that um in in most artificial intelligence models um the the um, so, so it is very hard to the, to to find that that uh, thing that uh, what what is criticality in the, in this this case, we have a very lot of as, as I've told you that very lot of uh, uh, relevant uh, coordinates and very lot of under, irrelevant coordinates, so uh, we we don't we, we usually cannot uh, so criticality is usually in a very uh, short range of of, uh, of of the of the relevant coordinates. Uh, and uh, and it, so I I'm, I'm not sure that it it's um, uh, it, it 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 occurs in 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 the art, uh, in for example image recognition. So I, it it's a it's a good point actually. So how could we uh, reveal uh, um, criticality in in what does it mean at at all? Uh, criticality in in kind of, say pattern recognition. So it's it's really an interesting question. 
I have to think about that. But usually uh, um, there are so lot of relevant parameters. Then, if that, if if at all it, that it, this exists, then uh, then it is very very hard to find it. But but maybe it may 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 have some some importance uh, even when when we do in, uh, image recognition, for example. Okay. Thank you very much. The, the chat, so Tomasz Gesty. Uh, we have some some questions from the chat. So Tomasz Gesty, maybe if you are online, you may ask the question. Or Olena. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I I would love to ask a question. A very, very interesting talk. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm very happy to hear some general, very general mathematical definition of understanding. Uh, because uh, all the time in physics or in text processing, people argue with me, but does the computer really understand what it's doing? And mm -hmm. I had the feeling that it understands not more and not less than I as a physicist understand the physics problem, but I couldn't put it in such Great mathematical explanation, wonderful. Um, but here, uh, also my physics uh, background screams that uh, our science is not exact. So we don't have actually exact laws and that may be in mathematics uh, somewhere in, in the infinite galaxy exists, but uh, all, all things we do is always only approximations. Mm -hmm. And also in the language understanding, it's also only approximate. And so uh, what, can you say about such things that maybe like approximate understanding or partial understanding? Can I put in your mathematical uh, approach also such concept because it's for me important. In text processing, when I try to define the answer to the question or the class for this uh, text, mm -hmm. then uh, very often there are overlaps in the classes. And for some text, I cannot define if it falls into CA or C2. Um, at least in my uh, limited, not infinite number of uh, coordinates. Mm -hmm. If I think of the quantum field theory and infinite number of coordinates, then maybe it's possible in that approximation, but uh, not approximation, that limit, but uh, we always work with embedding of an in, of no, not infinite number of directions. And then I'm limited. And maybe this is why I only can have partial understanding. So what do you say? Yeah, it's, it's a very good uh, point which which you emphasize here. Um, I I skipped some uh, transparencies. Maybe I I, I will um, okay in the in the complete uh, talk. I uh, uh, I skipped some some transparencies. The, the point is that the my my understanding of the whole stuff is this, is the following. Of course, when we has, we started to uh, gather information, then uh, we have a limited subset, so to say. So that means that we, we can start to, to speculate or start to understand that limited subset uh, of, of, um, of, uh, of experiments or something like that. And then we have, we, uh, we then uh, single out the relevant and irrelevant coordinates from the limited understanding. And then there comes the new event. And the question is that whether it is a part of, of, of our collection or not in, in this general case. And Probably, we, since this is a new, new, uh, new uh, element, then we, if, if we do the, uh, we, we, we study all of the, the, in this new coordinate system, it will have uh, those coordinates which should be uh, relevant for the subset and these this which should be irrelevant. And we can come, and in this new element, we have some numbers for that. And if the, the, the general uh, approach um, of learning, is that study the new element and uh, use our coordinate system or established coordinate system and study the relevant bits. We, this will not all uh, the same like uh, which which already uh, of, of, like in the order already studied set, but if the most or uh, and this is a this is a new well this is the the this, the art of this whole stuff. If 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 a, 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 uh, enough number. Of the relevant bits are the same as or or or, or, or studied su uh, set, then we can say that it is probably element of 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 our studied set. I don't know if it is an answer to that, but 
uh, the, and other, another point is which is which is very important here is that um, how how can I tell it? Uh, so if we extend the set the subset uh, from from one element to all of the elements of the of the word, the number of relevant coordinates uh, uh, decrease and the number of irrelevant increase. In the if we have just a single event, then all, all in any coordinate system all coordinates are relevant. If we take, consider all of the events possible, then all coordinates are irrelevant. So if, we, if you have a, uh, a measurement or a coordinate, then at, at some point it turns out to be, for some extent, it is uh, relevant and it becomes irrelevant after that. And it, this uh, defines you a measure of relevance. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's too fast in in this way, but but I think this is a very very important thing here. But exactly what what you have told is that uh, so assign uh, um, and the the measure of relevance for each coordinate, uh, and it can be done in physics uh, by random normalization group uh, in, mm -hmm. in computer science in this way that that uh, you 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 change the the the, the subset we the studied subset. But I think this is a this is this is an, also an, uh, an important aspect, but of the question you have asked. So thank so you. So your that. transparencies are online, right? I can look. It will be you. online, or or mm -hmm. will, will mm -hmm. at, at least it will be online. Yes. And, okay. Uh, Great.